Game Nights. I am your host and your game master for the evening, Savvy Seaworth. And uh, tonight we're playing Land of Eam, uh, a wonderful little uh, tabletop game that is currently in beta. Um, you can get the uh, the quick start guide and everything on uh, Drive Through RPG for free right now. So if you like what you see tonight, go uh, check them out. Uh, it's based on uh, Rickety Stitch and the Gelatinous Goo, a wonderful set of uh, adorable graphic novels with skeletons and goos and wugs and goblins and stuff. It's great. Uh, so we are having our first session tonight. Uh, before we get into that, my mic has stopped monitoring halfway through me talking, so that was really disorienting. Um, I was suddenly cut off from the world. Uh, if you were paying attention to our uh, wonderful intro video that we have, um, it showcased all of the different shows and uh, games we play on this channel. Um, our next stream after this one here will be on Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. It will be the next episode of Elegant Magics, uh, the second season of our Good Society game uh, that Greek Sid runs for us. Uh, a lot of us will be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Alex will be there. Uh, and uh, an RJ. So I think that's that. I don't think I have anything special to say. Um, so I'm going to let my wonderful cast here introduce themselves and tell you who they are and who they are playing this evening starting with Val. Hello everybody uh, I am Val the Kraken's Crown on Twitter and Twitch. Uh, I am here whenever we're streaming. Um, you can catch my full schedule on my Twitch, uh, my Twitter page. Um, and tonight I will be playing uh, Lorp Van Jones, the Dungeoneer, uh, who's a, uh, a friendly little gelatinous goo with an army of minions. Could you do me a favor and put that in your Zoom name so I know it's you? Yes, I will. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, who's next? LB. Hey, it's me. I'm LB Hackman. <laughs> I was looking for my notes uh, on this game because I'm pretty sure I like physically wrote some down. But I'm playing Bo, the skeleton. I don't have a full name because I don't know where I came from. Actually, I do have a full name, but we're just going to call me Bo. All right. Uh, David. All right. Yeah, I am playing W. Namfoodle Timbers, the gnome. Uh, also, my class, class and race, the gnome. The gnome gnome. Mm-hmm. Uh, excellent. Ryan. Well, hello, I'm Ryan. Uh, I will be playing Puck, the rascally imp. And I am gonna do crime. Okay. And Alex. Hello, I'm Alex. I'll oh, get some down on the internet. Um, and tonight I am playing Lug who is a wug and also a knight errant. Awesome. And I said who I am already, but I'm Savvy and I will be your GM for this evening. Uh, so like I said, we are playing this uh, wonderful little tabletop game called Land of Eam, uh, which is the name of the game and also the name of the setting. Uh, we are going to get started here in just a moment. We'll ask for your patience. None of us have ever played this game before. We did a session zero and made characters and that's it. So it's going to be silly. It's going to be fun. I'm going to forget to look at my notes halfway through and, uh, we're going to make it up as we go along. But for your reference, if you're interested, the adventure I'm running tonight is an adventure out of the quick start guide. Um, the beta quick start guide, it is called Wally's Waffles and Rats. You ready to get started? All right, so I gave you your hook last time. Um, I'll give it to you again, because that was like a month ago. Hold on, let's start here. Put on the music. All right, so we have together today our wonderful, diverse crew from different places 
in the land of Eam. Uh, you've all come together. You all know each other somehow. Some of you better than others. Uh, and you've all come together today to visit your friend, Wally. Wally, who has a last name that I wrote down, uh, Wally Dunkwiffle, who owns and runs a uh, very popular establishment called Wally's Waffles and Wargs. Uh, it is for a very long time been very important to the surrounding community, but unfortunately, news has reached all of you that Wally's Waffles and Wargs is shutting its doors for good. So you've all made your way to this tavern for one last night of laughter, tears, and a ton of sweet syrupy stacks of waffles with a side haunch of work meat. As you walk through the creaky saloon doors, you scan the packed room to see friends you haven't spoken to in ages. There's Shumwise the Shrim, twiddling his whiskers and hyping up his new business venture. There's Happy Dunstan, the only boggart ever to complete Wally's Howling Hot Challenge and live to tell about it. Rogram the Bridge Troll and Tabitha the Rascal deal another hand of huzzah cards, and you can't help but feel a pang of nostalgia for this little scrappy dive where everyone knows your name. And you see Wally behind the counter, slinging drinks and waffles and wargs. What would you like to do? We're starting with a party. Who wishes to join me for a round of drinks? Eh. You know that stuff goes right through me. It goes right through me too, but uh, in a little bit of a different way, I guess so. But uh, you can mark me down for two of them. Lug takes <laughs> out a scrap of paper and starts writing it down because those no, are no, 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 big no, no, numbers wait, wait. for him. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> well, I don't want a paper trail or nothing. I just want to drink. That's all. Um, yeah, it's not going to be that bad. Are you serious? So you've had the drinks here. Yeah, but we're not going to get in trouble for it. That's true. But it's just important because uh, I just want to make sure that whatever happens tonight, that we don't, you know, there's not any sort of destruction of property or nothing. Because, you know, afterwards, like, while well, he's going to be looking to offload all this stuff, and I'm, I'm trying to find some buyers for a, a mildly used restaurant furniture. You know, it's, it's, it's harder to get than you think, especially in this land of Eam. Well, he said the Ooh, name of the game. We had, are we done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. That was the that was the <laughs> riddle. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for joining us. <laughs> All right. So, is some of you going to get drinks? Yeah, I'll walk up to get drinks. That's all. Okay. We should do character descriptions. Lorp, what are you doing? Uh, whatever a, a goo. A, I don't. <sighs> I guess it's just sort of slopped into the corner table, uh, the corner booth. Uh, okay. And uh, it's just kind of jiggling there. Okay. Well, we'll start with you then. Uh, Val, tell us a little bit about Lorp Van Jones. Boy, and, this is going to be uh, my easiest character description yet. And what, they like, what they're like. He's a big purple gelatinous goo. It's a big amorphous purple pile of goo. Uh, does, as a dungeoneer, does have a group of, uh, probably the most defining feature, is the uh, group of boggles that I accompany- I forgot about the boggles. <laughs> accompany Lorp on all of their expeditions. Um, they can be used for all sorts of things, but mostly Lorp uses them to clear out dangers and uh, take- deal with any sort of threats to their person uh, voluntarily by ordering them to do so. Um, so there's just a bunch of bog... I think Lorp is just kind of bouncing there. Um, the only the only defining thing I'll say is that Lorp does have a section of the goo that just sort of forms into a curling mustache uh, on their uh, face. Uh, otherwise, no other defining facial features. Um, and, uh, the Boggarts have just, uh, oh, sorry, Boggles ha have just been bringing, Lord, uh, just endless plates of waffles, uh, all night. Nice. And these are, these Boggles, they're incredibly expendable. 
Yes. Yeah, yes, that is the fifth, the fourth word in their description. You have an expendable crew of boggles that accompany you. So I assume if something happens to them, you just get more. They're they're infinite. They they continue cool. coming back. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, We're so not going to dig any more into it than that. Nope, I'm not going to get into it. The boggles do this willingly. Um, Just looks to one of them and for says, "For a lot of money." <clears throat> Now, you know that I wanted strawberry syrup, not maple. Boy, sorry, sorry. Get it right next time. Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Van Jones. That's Professor Van Jones to you. Is it? I don't know. Yes, Dr. Van Jones. Thank you. I'm going to get you an exercise ball so you can bounce the whole time. Yeah, I'm going to need to do this the whole time because this is the energy that I want for for Lord. I so like I'm, it. I'm very on board with calling you Dr. Jones this whole Dr. time. Dr. Jones. Dr. Can Jones. Please. The dungeon here. Please. Dr. Van Jones. Dr. Jones. <laughs> All right. So uh, Lord Van Jones with their crew of boggles in the corner eating waffles. And now I'm uh, Shell Silverstein, I think. Is how that works. Uh, let's talk to uh, WM Foodle Timbers, uh, who our gnome friend who approaches the bar to get himself right. a drink. Uh, what's 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 your business? <laughs> what's going on with All you? All right. Yeah. So I am wearing uh, a tall, pointy green hat with snowflakes on it. Um, that they're pulled down over my eyes. I have a large, you know, round nose and then a giant white beard that covers pretty much the rest of my face. Um, and yeah, just kind of wearing like a, a wintry looking coat, some, some mittens on my hands and, uh, I'm walking up to the bar. I'll go ahead and climb up a, a stool so I can stand on it as I'm only... I'm a little under three feet tall, and uh, we'll order order a pint of, of ale. Okay, you approach, you see uh, your old pal, Wally, uh, behind the bar, and he slings you a drink and says, W Nam Foodle Timbers, welcome uh, back for the last time. I, know, I, was, I was hearing that. It's, it's mighty kind to get the drink from you there. Wally? No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You gonna eat some waffles? Of course. You know it. All right. We'll get them pulled up for you in just a second. And uh, who uh, who are you? Who we got here? Bo? I see you back there. What? You gonna what? spill it all over my floor again? No. All right. Maybe. Get up here. Uh, Bo? Campbell's over. What's going on with you? Uh, Bo is a skeleton, so they are, uh, just, you know, a skeleton, uh, but they know that they're pretty feared as far as, like, creatures in this, uh, scenario, uh, as the flavor text says about skellies, uh, so, uh, they have put, a sort of a, a pink, like, rosy color on their cheekbones, their literal cheekbones. So it kind of looks like they're blushing. Um, they're wearing like a big sort of sweatshirt and uh, like cozy looking clothing. They've got a hat on, like a winter hat, um, even though they can't feel the cold or anything like that. Um, and they, I didn't say it at the beginning, but their class is the loyal chum. Um, and, uh, they are going to move over to the um, next to uh, W and M Foodle Timbers, um, and kind of like sits down in one of the bar stools, or not bar stools, bar stool. Anyway, sure, why not? <laughs> Sitting places. Bar stool is fine. Uh, Wally slings you a drink as well. Do you want any waffles? I don't eat, but thank you. No, I'm good. I'm sorry you're closing the place. All right, I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, you know, it's um, 
It's a damn company coming after me again. They Subterranean, uh, oh, what's it called? Pits and Layers, LLC. You know these guys? Mm -mm. Bunch of jerks. Pits and Layers? Like they build layers? Or Pits like and they... Layers, yeah. Layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there someone who's going to, like, take over the land besides them? Are they, they buying for someone? No, it's all them. They took over the town nearby. It's about a mile that way, so I'm a little far out. But, uh, yeah, they think they own this place, too. Sucks. What assholes. You want us to kill him? No, no, nothing like that. Who else you got here? You, big what? guy. Hello there, Wally. Lug the wug. Good to see ya. Want something to drink? Want some waffles? Yes, both. And uh, I was thinking, you know, since this would be the last chance, I might try the challenge. Oh, you want to try the challenge? Wally's Howlin' Hot Challenge. You sure you're up for it? Yes. If ever I am going to be, it will be tonight. Well, all right. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, Wally reaches over and presses something, and there's just this huge, loud, like, blasting horn sound, and just lights start flashing everywhere. Oh, we got a challenger! And uh, from the kitchen, they roll out uh, a jumbo, flaming hot, chili hexed haunch of warg meat on a bed of 40 waffles. All right. You all know the rules, but I'll go over them for you one more time. Your time limit is one hour, no napkins, no drinks. If you win, you get your name on the wall with the heroic title, The Woe of the Waffles. And honestly, obviously the uh, the renown that goes with it within uh, any tavern in the Mucklands. You ready? Yes. All right. Yeah, time starts now. Okay, there's a roll for this. <laughs> So you start to eat. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so you can roll first roll of the game. It is vitality with disadvantage. Vitality. And you must roll a 12 plus. Okay, how do I toggle disadvantage? Is there a way uh, to do that? No, but every time you, uh, when you click the thing, you can click it, the button multiple times to add multiple dice. So you just click okay. it twice and it'll roll them both for you. Okay. I think I did that. Oh, okay. There, that looks like it. It went. Okay. So just hit roll. So I do have a plus two. Well, one of them was a twelve. The oh, other one's no. only a five. All right. So that would be a seven. So that's a failure. How far do you think you get? Um, let's seven see. twelfths of the way through. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, the first half hour or so is, you know, seems fine just trucking along. Um, but then, you know, it's like, oh, should have maybe gotten some milk to drink or something with it and uh, don't have enough on hand to help out. And, you know, I think at one point goes to wipe the tears from his eyes and no, of course, they've got spices on them, and it just goes downhill from there. All right, Wug, you yield. I must. All right, all right. Clean him up. Uh, Wally has a uh, someone come out from the back who will uh, relieve you with a little bit of magic of the uh, chili hex. <laughs> and you feel better. You're fine. Nothing bad happens to you. Uh, oh, I was gonna right. pass over like napkins and and be kind of taking care of Lug in this moment. Like, ah, are you okay? Can you see me? Can you see me? How many fingers? How many fingers? It's a trick question. I don't have fingers. I have bones. Huh? Okay, Did that make you feel better? I, I was getting nervous about having to count that high. <laughs> oh, Lug. All right. Bless Is that your heart. All of you? <laughs> Is that all of you? No, hey, there's a little one in the back. Puck! Puck, is that you? Of course it is. What do you think? Where are you hiding? 
Where am I hiding? I'm not hiding nothing. I'm just admiring this lovely furniture you have here. Mm-hmm. You admire that with your eyes and just your eyes. I wouldn't dream of doing it with any other part of me. Now that's just a bold-faced lie. You want something to drink? You want to? Well, hmm. That's a great question. Um, sure. I'll, I'll start with one, and then we'll see how I'm feeling after that. All right, I sling you a drink. You want some waffles? Oh, no, I can't do no waffles no more. Why not? They go, they go, uh, they, I, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about these in front of, you know, a uh, mixed company, but it's, it's don't not worry. great. It's not don't great. worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get you a drink. If you want some warg, you let me know. I'll tell you, if I pass something that looked like law, I, I, I would, I, I wouldn't be as in, in bad situation as what, but that's, <laughs> that's, I deal with something much worse. Unfortunate. Just trying to watch what I eat, you know? It's a tough, tough world. Got to take care of your body. My body's my temple. It's... You know what? Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Just trying to take, you know, take control of my life. One step at a time, though. One step at a time. It's, it's all about that daily progress. Setting small goals every day. All right. Drink your drink. I got a speech to give or something. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're you're losing your job. How you doing? <laughs> Bad. Hmm. Tell me about it. I will. Oh, you're gonna get do back. A, you're gonna do a whole thing. You're gonna do. I'm gonna a do a whole thing. Ah, right, whole thing. Okay. It's not well. It's not me. The wife wants me to. Tell, you know how she gets. Oh, well, of course. But hey, you know what? She's your rock. Gotta do it. You know, she knows yeah. best. She's a rock in the tread of my boot. All right. Hey, everybody. Wally's talking. Listen up. The Wally stands up on the bar uh, and claps his hands together, says, Dearest friends and patrons, it brings me great joy and sorrow to have you here tonight. Providing the used to be forest with the finest warg meat, the tastiest waffles, and the crispiest fried critters this side of River County has been the greatest passion in my life. But like I said to my first mate, Leaf Lavender, all them years ago on the open sea, nothing lasts forever. So let's drink until we die. And uh, people start to clap uh, and cheer, um, but from the uh, the back, of the tavern you hear interrupting them uh, a couple of jeers and boos um and you see a a couple of folks sitting back there wearing shirts uh sort of these like collared work shirts that very clearly have patches on them that read spl uh you know this to be the subterranean pits and layers llc um that wally has mentioned before um and they are jeering at him um telling him drink up because after tonight it's curtains and this place belongs to us now and generally being very rude now uh, wally sort of gets down off the bar and uh stands behind it and says ah oh, these goons can't get rid of them I you know if i could find the deed to this place i might be able to do something about it wait you deed you, th you think they might have stole it from you, Wally? Ah, uh, well, no, see, the thing is, I, I know where it is. I just can't, uh, I can't get to it. Uh, where is it? Uh... Oh, it's in the basement. Oh. Was it like, on a high shelf or something? No. Hey, what are you trying to say? I'm just what it's in the basement. You can't. Then what are you get trying it? to What's say? You think I ain't got a step stool in my own basement? I don't know what you have in your basement. I've never seen your basement. Well, that's the problem. Is what I got in my basement. I tell you that. Perhaps you should treat your step stool like your real stool. It would make it feel better and closer to you. You know, this is why I love having you around. You always keep it real with me. But uh, if it is a tall shelf, you know I am quite tall it's uh no it's it's not the shelf that's the problem uh i did go down there a few months ago try to find it 
Uh, and it's uh, it's not looking so good down there. Does it need new paint or some sweeping? Yeah, you, uh, you mind uh, elaborating for us a little bit there, Wally? All right. You got to keep this on the down low. Okay. So, the place is called Wally's Waffles and Wargs, right? Well, uh, we haven't served uh, warg for a little bit. It's very expensive, and it uh, is very dangerous to get, and uh, I'm getting old and ornery. No, no, you look amazing. Quit lying to me. Anyway, so we uh, sort of found a solution, a uh, like a warg substitute. So wait, what have we been eating? This log it's is just double fisting drumsticks right now. Ah, uh, it's killer rat. It tastes basically the same. Hmm. Yeah. We had some in the basement, and uh, exterminator is very expensive. Warg is very expensive. Got my own little killer rat farm. Except for it kind of got out of, out of hand very quickly. And uh, one of the rats has gotten very big and has also started to talk and now thinks he's king of the rats and he wants me dead. So I can't go down into my basement anymore. And uh, I can't get the deed to my bar. So uh, I can't prove that I own the bar. So I can't keep the bar. So you <clears throat> let the rats unionize. That's a classic mistake. All the bockles like, hmm? I mean, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, I went down there and they tried to rip me limb from limb. Uh, that's not been my general experience with unions. It's been mine. Oh, well, that would explain this. Hmm. You don't have limbs for them to rip you part with not anymore that's what I'm saying maybe they did that's why we have a strict no union policy in the Van Jones crew yeah they are contract workers right anyway so there's a bunch of stuff infested in my basement Interns, and actually, uh but... last time I went down there I uh I almost died so what? I'm not doing it again I mean, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with animals there. While well, I'd go down, try and talk to them for you. See, maybe we can uh, get a move out. Something like that. Take the rats uh, Well, with. the thing is, most of them don't talk. It's just the big one. I can talk to any of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. No, yep. We're good at talking to animals. We'll go for Poodle Timbers is the best. If they're going, I'm going. Now, I should clarify... What do we get out of this arrangement? Oh, uh, I mean, what do you need? What can old Wally do for you? I was thinking for myself personally, since you're going to be losing all your rats, maybe I could, uh, you know, we could talk, we could find you uh, an acceptable, you know, non-meat substitute since you're already lying to everyone about what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Make a little safer for you as well. You just grow something down there. We could rebrand. True. Wally's vegan waffles. Well, I mean, you know, the waffles. You know, as long as, as long as you ain't killing nothing for them, I sure hope you ain't killing nothing for your waffles. Are you, are you Wally? No, no. Okay. I know how eggs work. I mean, yeah, just you know, vegetarian. Don't got to be vegan or nothing. Wally's vegetarian waffles. Also, you were you was already lying, Wally. You could just keep lying. I'm not saying I'm not gonna make you stop lying. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. Free waffles for life. Sure. I can do that. Waffles are cheap anyway. Just the waffle, so I know about that meat substitute stuff. That's expensive. 
I give you the syrup too. Are we all ignoring that there's Dude. like a whole system of government beginning to uh to grow in the basement there? They have a king. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're not exactly we're just, ignoring it. We're, we're just... planning on ending it. How yeah, so? We're going to convince them to move out. We're going to find, you know, talk to them. Guarantee that, you know, their safety upon leaving. I have a I have an idea. You could talk to the little ones convince them that the king is a load of shit we could start a rat revolution and take over the basement hmm. it might take more than a day though also okay but then what are you gonna do with them once they think they own the basement no 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 we put ourselves in charge so that they think that we are in charge so then we could tell them to move out or we could rule over the basement like a like a new society I could be a king. Some kind of sublet what? situation. I don't think my basement is up to code to count as a living space. What oh, we I don't do, think I can let you live there. This is the beginnings of a good plan. What I'm thinking is that we find our own rat or killer rat and bring them in as the legitimate monarch to this rat kingdom. Once we've deposed the former rat king we convince them that their homeland is somewhere far beyond the used to be forest so is this going to end up with one of us in a rat suit in a couple hours is that what's happening well Unless you are you the smallest a, how big is this king yes is he you know i called a hand up to puck's head like puck sized oh. or he's uh he's about wog sized yeah Okay. You know the big, big, uh, big meaty dogs. Yep. Don't so, I ever? What you been serving as a ward meat ever since the rats took over in the basement? Rats. Okay, so you're still, still able to get enough of the rats to serve your customers. You just can't venture too far in the basement. Yeah, some of them wander out occasionally. All right, you know what the rat what? king's name is? I mean, we know he's we know he's a rat king, right? If we're gonna be addressing him or something, might be yeah, might that's be respectful what he told to call him by name. He's uh, uh, what did he say? Rat Beth. King Click. 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 All right. Hmm. I don't know. I think he just made it up. <sighs> well all right so free waffles you're gonna go you're and gonna the go syrup. vegetarian and the syrup that's right yeah we're gonna go vegetarian that's good for everyone else right happy to help yeah i was, no I was thinking Bo, that doesn't really cover anything in terms of what i would have supposed was was valuable to you in this situation you're already not eating any of the waffles. Oh, me? Yeah. I'm just happy to help you. You're my best right. friend. What else am I supposed to do? Sit on the sidelines? You know, just trying to look out for you is all. All right. So. Yeah, I appreciate you. You're I'll good see, guy. That's the kind of negotiation I like to see. So, is there anything else down there that you want while we're there? Just really the deed. All right. Hopefully, I can clean everything else out once they're uh, <clears throat> dealt with. My old office is down there. Now, just to confirm, this is a pure rat monarchy, not some sort of republic or aristocracy of some sort. Far as I know. We should investigate first. I so, mean, the legitimacy you know, of our heir to the throne will. I'm thinking just based on what we've heard so far, I'm guessing it's more like a meritocracy of some kind, right? He's the biggest, strongest rat. He can talk and stuff, so he's in charge. Well, hmm. just because he's the biggest, don't mean he's the strongest. So if we were, if this is the case, then we just dress Lug here up as a bigger, stronger rat. 
I mean, I do have some gator skins, but maybe we slap some fur onto them. I, I mean, here's the thing, though, y'all. Seems we're like an have... unnecessary step, but... <laughs> you were talking to... about a rat suit before. It's, you know, that's going to be a lot of rats. Meanwhile, a gator, about gator size, just got to slap some of those together and stick fur on it. Uh, so that's sort of... fur. It's oh, I, I need to take a look at what the wogs look like again. I'm trying to remember. Let me look. So while I you're feel, looking for that, Wally, kind of what have you been bears? doing with all these uh, extra rat, rat skins? After you uh, prepare them, do you, you wouldn't be happy to keep those around, would you? Oh, I got a few in the back. Usually we sell them, but uh, they dried out. You you've been selling rat skins out the back, and ain't no one <laughs> thought to check where your things coming from. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, you run a tight operation here, Wally. Yeah, how do you think it lasted so long? See, now I know why you're still married. <laughs> Thank Boy, you. Got some I'm running a tight ship over there. No, I just know what to say and when to say it. Yeah, that's that what works. Fuck, this is a restaurant, not a ship. Well, either way, it's about to sink. Do you think I could do some ship decor in here? We are in the little literal middle of the map, not close to anything that is even remotely water. For like miles, I'm gonna well, say I know. no. It would I... be special here, yeah. original. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, get like a little lighthouse or something on the top. That's a good idea. Oh. All right. So I hate to cut this short, but uh, <laughs> if I don't find the deed by uh, sundown tomorrow, they're gonna bulldoze the place. How big's your basement, Wally? I mean, we're just gonna go walk in your basement, talk to some rats, right? Uh, well, the rats have been living down there for a long time, and they're very big rats. Uh, so the so basement's gotten a lot bigger in the past few months, is what I'm saying to you. It's more like a dungeon, if I were to describe it. All Wait, right, did you yeah. say dungeon? I did. And it's near. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for then, Lorp? slaps the side of the <laughs> their body with like a pseudopod and the top of their head extends into a uh a hat uh a fedora uh and uh <laughs> they say uh we should get going now that's little, what i like to hear y'all going yes. yep. wally yep. reaches out to clasp his hands i promise you we shall get you your deed back god uh, thanks big guy I love you. I love you too. So, I mean, this is an odd way to bring it up, but I thought, uh, should we maybe have this conversation in private later? I, I want to properly address your feelings for me. It's you know, it's more of like a family thing. Behind, behind, lug like a single tear running down the step stool's face. Like, <laughs> like that's what I've been wanting. <laughs> You're my family, all of you. And uh, you got until uh, sundown tomorrow. So if you're gonna go in the basement, you better go. All right. Now, y'all remember onwards. Basic pro, basic animal yes, protocols. Yes, Doc Jones. All right. Let's try not to kill any of them, unless it's only in self-defense. Wally, how long do your super hexed chili ward meats last? Ah, uh, for the hour, for the challenge. But, like, do they stay spicy after that, or... I'm just wondering if we take them down and maybe challenge the rats to eat them. Or wait, if it's... Would that be cannibalism? If they are <laughs> it's yes. made from rat meat? Yes, it would. So they probably wouldn't go for that. Okay. I mean, rats will do it. Rats will eat anything. Man, I've, I've known a few of them, and I gotta say, I haven't, I haven't been friends with any of them, but I mean, still gotta you know it's not a bad idea you want to take Listen it down up. there the hex lasts for an hour as long as we can keep it up for the challenge it's true i don't think that's going to get us anywhere with any of the minion rats unless we can convince them to take us straight to the king rat and you challenge him to an eating contest i mean we could try we go down there we come across the first rats and say i challenge king click to an eating contest 
for the rights of Rattopia or whatever they happen to be calling it. I think they're still just calling it the basement. Well, it's worth a shot. And if they refuse, then, you know, we go on with the rest of the plan. <laughs> Which, as of right now, is maybe construct a rat costume along the way. Failing that, we just try and and convince the king to let us be king or leave himself or convince all the other rats to let us be king. We convince the other rats that we have the legitimate heir to the rat's kingdom. I mean, I know they ain't smart, but I'm a little worried about (laughs) You know, you're all so creative and I'm so proud of you. We'll need to fully investigate the aspects of this rat civilization to forge the appropriate paperwork. I don't think there's paperwork, man. There's only one that can talk. Well, we won't know until we get down there. Yeah. What I always say is the best plan is that you want the one that you find halfway through. It's true. Oh, you know what? I just thought of one more thing. Uh, while you're looking for the deed, if you do find any wheels of cheese that are glowing, uh, you should confiscate those. Now, if we was to eat any of this glowing cheese, negative side effects of any kind? Uh, for you, I don't think so. It's a little magical. It's a, uh, a ball girl delicacy. Uh, but for uh, something like a rat, the magic tends to take hold a little bit stronger. If you know what I mean. <laughs> they stole my cheese and that's why there's a king rat down there now that can talk, okay? Okay, all right. Magic so cheese. Hmm. Magic yeah. in what way though? You never heard of it? Ball girl glowing cheese? It's a delicacy. No. <laughs> My favorite part about it is the name. It's very well, descriptive. If you get some back, I'll let you try it. All right. I better get my tunnel pants. Oh, did you want the rat skins? Uh, you know what? That feels like I've lost a little bit of steam on that plan. <laughs> Not right. Well, I'll let's just take it just in case. I got a big bag. We can fit it in there. Worst case scenario, we can show them as a, a show of force that we've killed many of their foes. Yeah. All right. Well, consider it a donation to the cause, but if you don't use them, I want them back. Okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're big enough. They fetch a pretty good price. <laughs> I can't get over it. The back of the restaurant selling ruder ass. <laughs> there was just like, well, I mean, they had the best skin, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> For reference, that part's not in the book. <laughs> That's a me thing. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. So Wally goes and uh, gets a pile of a few uh, very large. Uh, Ratskin. These are about the size of uh, wolf skins. Holy Howdy sh- doody. And these are from yeah. the regular size rats? Well, that's why they're called kilo rats. Because they, they weigh a kilo? Because they're, they're exponentially bigger than regular rats. Oh. Oh, you know, with the accent, I heard <laughs> killer rats. I'm sorry. I know, I'm realizing that that's probably what you thought I said. Which, in my defense, they are also killer rats. But, <laughs> I said killer rats. Alright, so it's the metric understand. system. It's the metric system. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. What is it? Killer rats. That are also killer rats. Yeah. I don't understand what the problem is. I, no, I can rats. understand I can perfectly. We're speaking the same language. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Imish. 
Uh, sure. <laughs> so I have uh, no idea what it's called. Eh. I'm turning into SpongeBob Square Bob. Sp- 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 I'm turning to Square Bob. Uh, All right. So, so we any, is there anything else we need to know? You seem to be dropping hints on us, uh, kind of uh, willy nilly here. Is that it? We're good to go. That's all I can think of at the moment. Okay. All right. Got any questions for me? Probably. Would you like to eat some more waffles before you go? No, thank you. Full on waffles. Is the deed in any kind of identifiable box? That's a good question. You're so smart. Uh, You know, maybe it might have been at one point. I, I would say you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> if this deed is written in a tattoo on the back of this red king, I'm going to be very upset that you didn't bring it up early, but also kind of impressed because that's very cool. No, it it is on parchment. Probably oh. in a roll of some kind. Perhaps right. even with a wax seal if that's still intact. Right, whether the wax is on or whether the wax is off. We shall go. I heard some rats right. in the basement. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Anything else you want to ask Wally? Because Wally is starting to infect my actual voice, so I think he might need to uh, take a break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you gather your things and Wally. Uh, Unlocks the basement for you and you head down the stairs into the basement of Wally's Waffles and Wargs. We will change the music. Is there music on? There we go. Uh, through Discord. Through my Spotify. Listen along with Spotify. Oh, through the Spotify. I believe. Oh. <laughs> Right. It's next to my name on Discord. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, you're not what I need. Where's the map? Okay. So, you make your way. Let me uh, remember what the letter R sounds like for a second. Uh, you make your way into Wally's basement. Um, you come down the stairs and immediately are met uh, with a sort of musty, small, uh, claustrophobic room. There are crates and barrels and uh, boxes sort of stacked everywhere, floor to ceiling. There is uh, not a lot of room to move around in here. there are a couple of doors in here that you can see sort of past everything that are currently blocked off by uh, all of these all these crates and barrels and, and boxes. Um, one directly in front of you, one to your left. So what would you like to do? Or I guess, was there anything you wanted to do before you came downstairs? Because you've got all your equipment and stuff, so. Okay. I was going to say, do we need, like, supplies if we're going to be down here for more than a couple hours? Uh, you should be fine. Okay, so yeah, you find yourself in Wally's storage room. It's gross. What do you want to do? Keep an eye on Puck. Whatever for. Alright, alright, that's weird. Um... But, you know, while we're down here, if there is anything that looks like it could be useful, and I'm flipping and flapping with my little wings. Okay. Uh, you want to look around? I have the... I'm going to put this up. Looks like there's a search roll. In, yeah. Um, I'm going to put this appropriate. up in roll just for your reference and also for mine. Um, there's kind of... I have the the four different attributes and then the skills under them and then kind of the description of what skill you're looking for um i think search is just fine for this all right all right i look around i click this button 
Then I say roll. Wait, why is it? It's a negative one. So it's plus. Uh, one I see positive. Me. I see plus oh, one. Yeah. Okay, weird. All right. Uh, is that in the chat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it comes up sort of at the top of the uh, the screen or the video windows. Okay, for some reason I can't see these things. Are okay. okay. Now I need to see where did my table go? See, it said I rolled tenants and showing me a nine, but I have a plus one in search, so I feel like it's showing me an eleven. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna refresh. Something's weird's happening for me. Okay. Uh, occasionally, when you're rolling dice, if you fully close the dice roller and then open it. All you have to do is like make it go back up and then come back down. Sometimes that'll fix it. Okay. Uh, where did my freaking table go? <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost my table. Anyway, a 12 is a is a critical success. So you've got an 11. So I feel like that's a full success. Yay. I'll find the table. <laughs> So uh, momentarily. there's success and complete success. You want to hear complete success for uh, search or regular success? Well, well, I'll say complete success and I'll find the numbers. Okay. So well, let's see. Complete success is you find a secret door that opens to a treasure room and the guy's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> is that a you thing? No, that's a that's a me th or that's a this thing thing. If it, a regular thing? a regular success is the watch, gosh. there's a watchful guard and a wait guard. Oh my gosh! But a complete success, the guy's asleep. That's a good example. Let's see, what do you find in here? Because Wally definitely doesn't have guards down here, you guys. Is it a he, rat treasure? An advanced should. vanguard treasure room? Uh, it is. Come on, load, please. Okay, uh, you look around. You find um, these crates mostly have junk in them. Um, some of them are really gross. Uh, there are a lot of rotten vegetables down here, just starting to explain the smell. Um, there is cornmeal and flour. There's lots of, uh, rancid old, old dips and, uh, condiments and things that should be thrown away. Um, and, uh, very few of these things are usable, but for you... Uh, you search through kind of all of this stuff, trying to find anything valuable, and you find one jar, perfectly preserved, closed, still sealed, of super secret spicy mustard. Which, while uh, people like you and your friends enjoy very much, uh, animals in general despise. Find abhorrent. I see, I see. Well, I'll flip, flip down to the crew. Be like, uh, <clears throat> before we go forward, I thought I might suggest something. Right here, I have this. Now, don't tell nobody. Some super secret spicy mustard. All right. Mhm. Mm Look. We love it, we all love it, of course, but animals, they don't. I don't know if you heard the narrator mention that earlier, but I'm just recapping just in case you spaced out for a second. But what we can do, slab a little on this part, slab a little on that part, and we can be essentially rodent proof for the uh, for, for our journey, I think. I don't know about you, uh, Lord, that might just, <laughs> that might just go straight through you. Yes, I think I would just end up digesting it if it was in contact with me for too long. But for the rest of us with, you know, the, uh, the, you know, flesh-atypical bodies, 
I think that uh, we can just. Yeah, I'm not. I, 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 I'm, I'm not including you in that. Look, I know what I'm talking about. Flesh and tips. I hear. All right. Well, we could also put it on your bones. Just the bones. You'll be fine. Hey, yes, this is a good idea. You're stumbling through it, but it's a good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Lather I, me up. I thought I did all right. Okay. <laughs> I find a butter. Started strong. <laughs> Went downhill. <laughs> and now we're here. Uh, easy enough. You can find some some utensils in a box. You find a butter knife. And cover your crew in super secret spicy mustard. Is what I'm understanding. Sure. Now we were making an assumption in role play that Lorp would could not be covered in mustard. I don't know if that's how it actually works, but I mean, maybe if you digested it, you you just like taste like mustard. I don't know. Just diffuse mustard into. Yeah. The, if you're uh, very careful, there's just enough surface tension. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you want it just to be. Just a light mustard glaze over, <laughs> over Lorp. <sighs> or over all the boggles, and they just like <laughs> wrap around you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good. You I, you tell me how you how you cover yourselves in the mustard I gave you. Just gonna rub a little on my hands. Uh, Bo takes off their pants and just rubs it all up on their bony legs. It, like pulls their shirt down a little bit, so it's like an illusion of it being covered but there's nothing there so it doesn't matter it's just bone yeah oh don't look at my pelvic bone ah log puts it on on like the the cologne spots so like the wrists and the neck but uh i also have uh, a question about animals uh i do yeah. have my steed squawkers oh, my zozo bird um I'm wondering if it makes sense to try and bring my big giant rideable bird down into the basement or should probably just leave them, you know, uh, stabled outside. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Um, I will, I'll pull back the curtain for you a tiny bit and say you're not going to find yourselves in a lot of huge open spaces. Yeah. Because uh, this has been some of you can probably make this assumption it's been tunneled out by rats so. so probably just gonna leave her up you know make sure she has a supply of waffles and uh, I don't think love would let her drink but definitely give her lots of waffles okay that can be arranged uh, while I will keep an eye on her she'll be fine I forgot about the Zozo bird <laughs> Lorp has their interns um uh, slather themselves in the mustard and then we talked about before is that Lorp's intern uh, Lorp's boggle crew actually travels like inside their body um, and and so then they all just like hunker into the uh, the delatus cube form so it should be enough mustard coating to they're a goo not a cube it's a different property a goo sorry uh, yeah, gelatinous, uh, gelatinous goo form, uh, and uh, and hopefully dissuade rats from from biting them. Okay, that's what the GG stands for. Okay, so you all smell like spicy mustard. I'm gonna say that probably takes up most, if not all, of the mustard. So. Uh, you use the mustard you find, you uh, just slather it on, and you are now standing in the middle of the storage room with two doors in front of you covered in mustard. So which door should we go to so I can start moving some of these boxes out of our way? Oops. Sorry. Uh, I said I was going to the left first. 
right to the enough. left to the uh, left a left hand wall lock yeah 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 okay uh yeah you look over towards that you can sort of see the door behind it but there are a lot of big smelly crates and stuff in the way so you could take a little time shift them out of the way let's have a roll see how long it's you can do this and let's see how long it takes you uh what do we think let's see uh physical strength might perfect lift heavy objects uh let's have a might roll i am very good at that i figured (laughs) in theory well uh that's a total of seven okay so let's see i think that's a success with a twist okay yep um i'm just gonna say this is pretty low stakes um so i'm just going to say it takes you a little bit longer than you expected and you're i saw a hand uh once you're done with that explanation oh okay um and uh at one point uh the top is not secured on one of the crates and it slides off and you'd get some really nasty expired uh ranch dip spilled on you it's very unpleasant for everyone else well, that's Since... no good but it's better that i'm moving them carefully instead of just throwing them around or it would be very messy in here uh is there enough space that if Lorp got impatient that they could use their gelatinous cube ability, uh, goo ability, sorry, that's going to be hard to not say. Gelatinous sorry, goo ability everyone, to, we play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. So. Uh, to slip between the cracks in the, uh, like, in the gaps between everything that's piled up to, to kind of scout ahead. The same door or the other door? The same, the same door. The same door, Okay. Because uh, they have yep. the ability that roll vitality to squish and squeeze through tight cracks and openings. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, so, Lug, while you're moving the boxes, you see uh, Lorp sort of get very impatient. Um, the In that form, the, the boggles, boggles can't come with you. Yeah, that's what You'll I'm kill saying. them. So, uh, the boggles sort of pop out one by one, uh, standing at the ready. Uh, go ahead and roll. Was it vitality? Uh, uh, yes, vitality, which I am pretty good at. Uh, D twenty. Oh no, wait. No, it's a D ten, right? What D twelve? What is the D twelve? D twelve. Why can't? Why is it? All right, there we go. That's a nine. Is, is your sheet on edit? Might be. Don't edit your dice. We should all be as well. Uh, okay, a nine is a success. Um, so yes, does it say anything happens on a success, or it's just that you make it? Uh, it doesn't say any. Yeah, it doesn't say any conditions. Okay, it just says uh, roll. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with how the like abilities are laid out. Um, but cool. So yeah, that's a success. Um, the bare minimum for a full success uh, is a nine, so nine through eleven. So you uh oh i did for y'all um the uh the skill check table just so you can familiarize with the numbers i put it in the discord i also put it in the assets um on roll so that bottom bar that says assets you can click on it lifts up you can they should all be public uh there it is now there we go so you should be able to to look at those images and stuff uh yes so lorp you slorp uh past lug leaving the boggles behind for the moment and kind of make your way oozing through and then underneath the uh the crack in the door reforming on the other side uh you see oh my pdf is having a uh heck of a time loading it's not what i want there we go uh you see a room um it is a smallish room um looks to have once been 
an office, uh, has not been in use in some time. Uh, it is filled with knickknacks and items and relics uh, from your friend Wally's past. Uh, they're all covered in sort of dust and dirt. Um, on the wall ahead of you, uh, there is a large painting of two people you recognize. One, your friend Wally, and two, uh, his first mate from back in the day who comes to visit often. Uh, Wally used to be a sailor, is what he tells people. Uh, he was a pirate. Um, a scalawag at heart, but his first mate, uh, Leaf Lavender, uh, his best friend and former first mate. Um, and underneath this large painting is a larger hole in the wall uh, that has been dug through leading to a tunnel. I assume around this time is hearing like the box is getting shifted away and just mm -hmm. yells back mm -hmm. through the wall and just says <clears throat> it looks like it's all clear on this side. Uh, Like clear enough for all of us or clear enough for you? Well, once the door is open, you can move through safely. There are no traps or creatures here. All right, because sometimes it's safe for you, not safe for us or your little Listen, friend, I so. can't breathe, so I'm not sure. Uh, it, well, there could be a either. noxious you... fume in the air. Um, enter at Sorry, your that was own me risk. Are meeting the spicy ward meat earlier? Yes, and even I could tell that that was disgusting yeah there's like, a tunnel here smell though. anything right now <laughs> <laughs> that's your uh your your leftover condition which is probably uh, good because you're smeared with spicy mustard and rancid ranch right now hi everybody that's just joining us welcome <laughs> we're playing land of eat i believe i've found the rat's tunnel here Then let's go. Do we want to look into the other room first and see what might be there? Yeah, I mean, I suppose if, if you know, the deed's right in the other room there, and we go all the way down over here, we're going to be kicking ourselves later. Plus, you should always explore every corner of a dungeon. That's true. Sometimes there are adventurers hiding in there. You gotta make sure you take him out first. Sorry, I had a flashback to college. I did too. So we have. Who did an internship uh, in a dungeon yeah. once? Yeah. <laughs> no, this we is... we were the same person in high school. All oh, right, right. It was after high school that we split. Mm -hmm. Fucking Beatrice. Anyway. <laughs> But if this is Wally's office, is, would it make the most sense for the deed to be in here? True. Not saying we shouldn't check the other door, but I'm just trying to make sure I understand, you know, business operations. Yes. Bust in the other door, lug! Actually busted in, because you just saw how long I took carefully moving the boxes that were not all covered in ick. I mean, do what you want. I'm just saying. We've been standing here for a long time talking. I'm ready to go. Got a dungeon right. in front of me. I'm excited. Yep, we have been here for a long time, so I'm going to... My flaws, I throw caution to the wind and just, you know, body slam through whatever boxes stand between me and the other door. Okay, uh, so two things. First, hit me with, uh, I'm going to say, probably might again. Um, also, this sounds like XP to me. But I've lost the little XP rundown. So is that something that Where's happens in the moment or at the end of the session? Uh, I'm uh, mostly just, we'll do it at the end of the session. I mostly just wanted to point it out mm -hmm. um, because that is a great example of a PC demonstrates their flaw. Um, so when these come up, um, feel free to mention them. Feel free to mark them down or whatever. Um, we can go through them at the end of the game. For stuff like this, 
I might we might decide it's easier to kind of mark them in the moment. Um, but for now, we'll talk about it at the end of the game and just kind of keep it in your brain. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone. So an excellent question. Yep. So also the the challenge in the first place was throwing caution to the wind, but uh, I don't know if the flaws count twice. But for the might roll, I got a nine total. Okay, that is a success. Uh, so you throw caution to the wind uh, and you go wildly charging through uh, a bunch of barrels stacked up and some sacks of uh, cornmeal and flour. And uh, since part of you is covered in ranch, part of you is also now covered in cornmeal and flour. <laughs> so it's just getting worse and worse. But you feel fine. Um, but yeah, you go and uh, sort of throw your shoulder, bust through the door and into the room on the uh, other side of it. This is a, uh, a small room. Uh, it looks like, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, you walk in um, or you burst in to the room very loudly, sending debris flying everywhere, uh, bouncing off the walls, and you hear things uh, sort of like clanging off glass. You look around and uh, th the three walls that you can see in this room are completely filled by wine racks. Um, you essentially found a wine cellar. Uh, it is cool, it is dank, and um, there are hundreds of dusty, uh, dusty wine bottles on racks um in the center of the room there are also two very large rats who are uh fighting over sort of trying to split as best they can a uh, glowing piece of cheese and they uh they sort of perk up as you bust in and look over toward you so this would be where we enter the conflict <laughs> Uh, phase of the game, which has a couple of rules. I'm going to put the rules up in roll of audio. Okay. So, uh, this game generally uh, does not start with combat. You don't get any XP for combat or things like that. There are uh, other actions you can take. So, the conflict phase is split up into four phases. The first phase is parlay, in which you try to parlay with whatever you're dealing with. Uh, the second phase is action. So if parlay doesn't take how you want it to, um, people who are doing anything other than attacking physically get to go. Uh, if you wish to run, phase three is run, you can run away. Uh, and then phase four is combat, move into initiative. And then once we do that, we'll cycle back through. Uh, so creatures in this game all have a level and they have either a parlay or a wrangle level, which is essentially how many times you can try to parlay with them. Um, I gotta pull up the guards here. No, not them. The other ones. Where are you? There you are. Uh, so the thing here for you guys is that these are animals um so they are considered there are adversaries and there are critters these are considered critters you can't parlay with critters but you can during the parlay phase try to wrangle them it's the same thing just as different terminology uh so anybody who wishes to try to parlay gets to go first um there are a few skills you can use with this. Some of you have abilities relating to animals. Uh, so that's a lot of explanation to say lug. You bust in, you see these two rats eating these cheese. They perk up uh, and they they are about wolf sized. Um, so they are very large for rats, have very large, uh, big ears, big tails, that kind of thing. Uh, and they kind of look at you defensively waiting to see what you're going to do because you're very large. Um, your friends are very close by so you can rope them in on this if you wish. Yeah, so... So you said they're critters, so it would be wrangling, so probably this is more so for the flavor, but, uh, you know, sees them with the cheese and says, by the authority vested in me by Wally of Wally's war <laughs> waffles and wargs, that is not your cheese and I will be reclaiming it. 
but uh, then is going to move to wrangle them. Uh, and I am proficient in gator wrangling. I don't know if that's going to give me any kind of benefit here, but also uh, that would probably set the precedent of being having an advantage on wrangling oh, it works for most everything. creatures. Uh, I'm going to have it stick to gators for now. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we can start with that. Um, do you want to rope anybody else in on this? I mean, I think I said that loudly enough that everyone yeah. is hopefully aware of that. But uh, that seems not, fair. Yeah, not necessarily waiting for my friends to come and back me up. Okay. Well, then I'll give everybody else the option to intervene. <laughs> as uh, Lug has become uh, cheese police. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and go into the room and see okay. what's going on. <laughs> okay. So you see the same thing. You heard what Lug said. Um, you're, you are not that far away. Yeah. Uh, I, so I... What do the proficiencies do for you in this? Uh, so proficient in animal handling. What a good... Question. Uh, let me pull up the page real quick. So proficiencies are with the dice mechanics with advantage and disadvantage. Oh, look at that. It's on page one of the book. Love it. Easy to find. Uh, so uh, page two of the book. Proficiencies. Uh, deficiencies. Okay. So essentially it's a it's a situational advantage so if you have proficiency in something and that skill directly relates to what you're doing you give yourself advantage on the roll okay so yeah I'd, I'd just like to kind of approach and just all right there friends how about we you know sit down calm down there for a second we got a proposition we'd like to talk to you about and try and okay. do an animal handling okay um i will Anybody else want to contribute? Essentially, what I'm going to do is say anybody can participate how they want. Somebody has a proficiency. They can lend advantage to the role. And then I'll let y'all, based on what skill you're wanting to use, I'll let y'all decide who rolls. Um, that seems like the, the fairest way to do it. So you've got proficiency with dealing with animals. So we get advantage on the role um where did uh my skills page go i've lost it stop sharing Uh, there it is it does say for parlay that it's charm inspire or intimidate but yeah it's it it says typically um do you guys know how i feel about the word typically Mm -hmm. it means sure or if you have something better i'll take it um, so yeah, generally you would use um, the ones that sort of lend themselves to charisma, especially since you're trying to talk. Um, so we could throw this out. Lug, if you want to take charge, I would call that an intimidate. Mm-hmm. Unless there is something else you would argue for. Um, WNAM Voodle Timbers. Uh, I would probably call that... No, uh, it's not trickery. Tell the truth. Uh, what am I looking for? I think inspire, um, because that is to make people believe your sincere words and actions. So, either with advantage, y'all decide who rolls. I mean, my intimidate's a plus one, as is my inspire. Yeah, so you're better than I am at it, so you can have the advantage. Okay. I'm okay with a little meta in this game. Mm. Uh, okay. So, uh, Lug sort of taking the lead. Uh, to, I don't ever know which of your names to nickname you by. Is it Namfoodle? Sure, yeah. Because I'm going to just keep saying W Namfoodle Timbers, and it takes me so long to say. Um, if we just start calling him W. W. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, Namfoodle sort of adding to the uh, the presence that Lug takes up in the room. Uh, Lug can roll to intimidate with advantage. Yeah. I think essentially the plan is just grab them both by the scruff of their neck, get them apart and away from the cheese, and then just 
<laughs> Shake them a bit until Shake them they a bit. stop. Okay. Um, okay, well, good thing with advantage because that works out to a 10. Uh, okay. First one was a two, second one was a nine. Okay, oh one. yeah. Uh, that would have been a... That would have been a three, which is a failure with a plus. Uh, but no, that is a full success with a 10. Um, so yeah, with uh, with your friend, Mr. Timbers, uh, backing you up, you uh, run in and the rat's sort of startled by everything that is happening, sort of looking between the two of you and kind of perking up their, their ears, like they're trying to figure out what's going on. They're a little confused. Uh, you take the opportunity, run in, or grab them both by the scruff, uh, holding them up away from the cheese and you sort of got them in your uh in your grip hey i have them um i think it just says the kind of screen do i just you know i can knock them together and knock them out or well i mean we got to talk to him right we got to find out where the rat king is and uh you know general stuff like that okay well i don't think they ate the cheese yet so i don't think these two can talk yet but uh, you, I mean, I can, can talk, talk to him. I talk to him fine. Okay. Now listen here, you two. My friend here is going to talk to you, and you are going to be polite and civil, or I will give you such a headache. Do we understand each other? Uh, they, in response to that, sort of. Uh, it's, well, it's not really a squeak. They're very big. It's sort of a weird grumble. Um, but they they sound. A little afraid mostly afraid um and they kind of like nod like they they don't say anything you get the impression they at least have the gist of what you're saying um but i'll, they can't I'll talk translate to if i need to <laughs> oh that's right can you just like talk to animals is it just yeah. like straight up a, that's wonderful a known racial trait yeah <laughs> that's really good uh okay so yeah they uh they nod and i think uh nam foodle for you they're just saying uh, okay 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 all right so here's the thing a bunch of guys are going to come in here pretty soon start tearing the place up you know probably destroy stuff and whatnot so we was hoping uh we convince y'all to uh you know relocate so we were we was wanting to talk to uh whoever's in charge here we heard there's some kind of rat king can click something like that uh yeah yeah all right that, that's him Okay, where is he just down in this tunnel there? Uh, it's, I mean, it's not just down. There's other ones too. They'd like the turn and turn. Uh, you know? It's a pretty complicated layout then. Oh, yeah. I mean, let me converse with my my friends here shortly, and then not speaking to animals. Do we want a Do we want a rat guide, y'all? I think I might be able to rope one of these into into guiding us around in here. I don't know how loyal he's going to be. I mean, we're kind of doing a good cop bad cop thing right now. A uh, foodle, you're so smart. Yes, that's a great idea, right? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. It is having a rat on the inside, I think, would greatly benefit our operation. All right. And, uh, back to rats. All right, so we was thinking maybe, you know, one of y'all could, could you know, guide us to your king, give us an introduction. Uh, they start uh, fighting between themselves, being like, I can do that. No, I can do that. No, you got, listen, I'm way better at directions than this guy. No, you got to listen to me. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and they're just arguing. All right, they're they are both on top of this job. They want it bad. Um, I mean, I'm an excellent interviewer if you need me to take care of this. <laughs> you want their credentials? <laughs> well, if we're looking for the best rat for the job, I think that's the best way to decide it. Or we have them fight each other for no. to decide who gets the job. I don't think what if they both I don't think get that. the job. Yeah, that's true. We can have two guys. Hmm. But they argue, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. If, if we get to an intersection and he's arguing over which way to go. I mean, I guess we just choose one and it, whoever was right, they get, we just listen to them. Sure. Okay. We'll take, we'll take both of y'all's if that's all right. Oh, yeah, man. That sounds great. 
All right, I guess. Okay, now my friend's gonna want want to carry that cheese there. I'm looking over at it. Is it eaten up at all? Uh, it's been split in two, and they've both been kind of gnawed on. There's like pieces left. We still want the cheese, or we want to keep it with us as a way to bribe rats. Well, let's keep it with us, just in case they like. Uh... I mean, we don't want anyone coming back to it, right? It's true. I mean, worst comes worst, we feed one of these rats a bunch of the cheese, get us up, get ourselves a second rat king. <laughs> it's just see how it plays out. You're so smart. I I really appreciate. It. I'm so glad you're here with us. Well, he did tell us not to let them have any of the cheese. We're getting his. We're getting his deed for him. Also, the cheese is, you know, it's the whole thing's Wally's fault. I mean, and I'm not going to keep cheese away from rats, right? It's the natural order of things. But it's magic cheese. It's true. I mean, they're big, these big rats. Hmm. All right. We're taking it. If we need it, it's in my bag. I'm the bag guy. Does Bo right. just keep the bag inside the rib cage, <laughs> or is it no. small on the back? <laughs> it's, it's kind of like extra strapped to them, uh, so like up and under the ribs, and like there have been extra straps so that it definitely stays on. But but they are wearing a um, a jacket over it. All right, so you take the cheese. You essentially you'll get like uh, four like chunks probably about like this like baseball size like chunks that have been kind of chewed uh had bites taken out of them but that were once a cheese wheel but no longer um they're kind they got a little condensation on because <laughs> they're cheese and they've been out for a while but uh yeah you put them in the bag okay. so no interview then No, yeah, we're hiring them both, right? Oh. All right. It's sort of, it's interview by you know doing the job. You know, you let them do the job for a while. Oh, so you can best on have. the job interview, I've done that before. Usually, it ends with one of them expiring. Well, we're gonna try to keep it from that, right? Are we? I mean, yes. my goal in here is zero dead rats. I don't know about y'all. You hear a little bit of distressed grumbling as they're trying to figure out exactly what you're talking about. Over under. Sure. We'll try to keep rats from dying. Okay. Onward then. You uh, take your two rat friends with you uh, back into the office. Uh, were you wanting to look around the office at all, or you just want to go through the hole? I want tell. to look around the office at all. At all? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what time it is? Oh, perfect. Uh, we're right at 8.30. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead. Now that you've hired uh, two new interns <laughs> uh, to your team, who I guess I should give names. <laughs> well, if chat wants to name them, we have that as a function you can spend your XP on. Oh, it's perfect. Yes. All right. If anybody would like to, um, we are going to go ahead and take our break. Uh, we will be back in just a few minutes. Um, in the meantime, we do have the option open in the store to name an NPC. So if you have enough XP, uh, the first two people to get to it who are approved those are the names they're going to go with uh so come up with something funny and go to the store and uh you know put in your best effort make sure wally would be proud of you uh we will be back in a short uh five to ten minutes to see what happens next
Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Wally's Waffles and Wargs Basement Edition. We are so glad to have you here with us today, even though you don't call us as much as we like, but you know what? We'll deal with it. We love you. We know you need your own space. It's fine. I'm possessed. Uh, hi, everybody. This is the rest of Thanks my for- night now. Just thank you, everyone, for encouraging hey. us. Oh, don't watch my stream from last Monday then, because the last 20 minutes of it was also this. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us during our break. Uh, we are going to jump back in right where we left off. Um, our wonderful crew here has taken on a job from their good friend, Wally. I can't ever remember his last name. Dunk Wiffle. Uh, like basketball dunks and wiffle balls is exact it's spelled just like that uh wally dunk wiffle who owns the tavern wally's waffles and wargs wally has a rat problem and also a uh missing the deed to his tavern and if he doesn't find it by sundown tomorrow he'll lose his tavern problem and these guys are going to fix it. So you have uh, convinced uh, WM Foodle Timbers and Lug, you have convinced uh, two of these Kilo rats is the word that I'm saying. Um, kilo, like, well, like in kilometer uh, or uh, any of the other ones. It doesn't help. Kilogram. The Kilo part. They're Kilo rats because they're very large rats. I think I killed Ryan like half an hour ago and I I don't know what to do about it. Um, you know what, if you need anything, you just let me know. So we're gonna pick back up. Uh, you have in front of you a, uh, well, you did, uh, Lug and uh, WNAM Fool Timbas. Uh, you were in a wine cellar. Uh, which you are free to investigate. Um, the others of you, you are in uh, what was Wally's office, uh, which you are free to investigate. Uh, so there was talk of looking around before you moved on. Uh, would you like to look around either of these rooms? Who would like to do it? Uh, I think Lorp wants to just completely like strip down the rooms for for anything valuable looking every of actually is going to do the once per day uh once per uh session thing um where they command their inspire command their boggle army um to okay, uh, you'll to have to tell me what them. that is because i have no idea oh uh, let me pull it up right now uh, uh, I am not familiar with your uh, move sets as yeah. of as so, of my first time ever running this game. Everyone, uh, so uh, as expendable crew of boggles, I can roll inspire or intimidate once per session to boss them around for various purposes, and they're especially useful for distraction, menial labor, and triggering tracks. And I want them to essentially everything that we've cleared out so far up until the tunnel. I want them to just root through everything, every box, every drawer pulling up floorboards looking for anything valuable before we move on to the next area of this dungeon okay to, is there a role involved so to ins- i can either inspire or intimidate them i will inspire okay. them okay because that's how and... <laughs> that's how lorp does um and uh lorp just says uh <clears throat> all right this is what we're here for this is what your onboarding over the last six months has accomplished. <laughs> God damn it. You've been trained in various tasks to gather precious materials, and I need you to utilize every tactic and every skill that I have trained into you mercilessly. Through this onboarding process here today. So, search every corner. Find everything you can. And the person that brings back the most will receive a bonus. Go ahead and roll. Also, cite your sources. 
TBD. He has no intention of actually giving a bonus. Um, not that you can't receive a bonus when they're not being paid. There we go. Ah, that's bad. What is it? Four. Don't I have quest points? Is that rerolls? Quest points are a thing in this game that you can use to search PDFs for how they work because they're not in the basic uh, rules. You can use quest points for two things. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have uh, once per session abilities or perks, you can spend a quest point to use them again. So use them okay. more than once. Or you can use them to increase a check by plus one. Uh, by only plus one. Okay. And and we decided quest points come back at the end of like the session. Or, yes. Or... Yeah, they're session based. So uh, that okay. is uh, from the mouths of the writers themselves. Thank you. Uh, to both of them who were here for session zero. Uh, yes. Right. And I can't spend all five to make that a pass. Uh, no, you can only spend five. them one at a time. Okay. As far as I know, you can only spend them one at a time. Uh, I so have you rolled five. a. Okay. So if you. A three to five is a failure with a plus. Okay. On I'll the take, table. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just up. take the failure with the plus. So you rolled a four. Uh, oh yeah, spend yeah, a point. yeah, I'll spend a point. Yeah. Yes, to yeah, yeah, yeah. My apologies. No, no. I will spend the point to make it a five. I am telling you, listen to me. That's not going to make a difference. Oh, I thought you said it was a. Oh, I'm showing you the table. If okay. you roll a three to five, it is a failure with a plus. So if you roll a five, it is the same thing as a four. Okay, so no, I will not spend a point. I'm giving you the out. <laughs> I will not spend a point then. This is a good lesson in waiting until your GM is done talking before you start talking again. I'm still dying about this six month onboarding process. <laughs> 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 oh, so, so uh, Sauce fire? No, I'm not angry. I'm perfectly fine. Numbers are hard. We're learning a new game. I'm just saying. Uh, so no, keep your point. I'm not going to take it from you. That would be mean. Uh, so it is a failure with a plus to inspire you kids. Um, so you don't... We haven't had one of these yet. Uh, so let's talk this through. Um, so you do fail... But there is a, essentially the description of this is, you roll three to five, you do fail, but there is a silver lining or something that comes out of it. May I suggest one? Certainly. <laughs> they find nothing but uh, some of the boggles that were talking secretly about putting together a union end up setting off a trap. <laughs> And oh. they are gone. <laughs> Not that, that the speech really hit them specifically. Yeah. <laughs> that they die. <laughs> yes. That would clear the ranks a little bit more. Yeah, clear it. Clear it. And, and everyone else is much more in line. That is a, uh, that is a bad suggestion. But I'm just going to offer still similar obsessed with boggles. <laughs> okay. Slightly less boggle death inducing, but that, uh, you know, they don't really find anything of value, but they do, you know, sneak some from the wine cellar and believe that something in Morp's speech indicated that, that that was the bonus for them and that they should indulge in the wine. And so, again, building some loyalty, just slightly less boggle death. I like, dr I like drunk boggles more than two dead boggles. That's pretty funny. What do you think, Val? It's happening to you, so. Oh, good. We can go with drunk boggle since it seems like death is not encouraged in uh, amongst this group. Uh, we won't. <laughs> it's not encouraged by the game in general. No, no, I'm just, they're, I'm just joking. They're not animals, so I'm fine with it. 
I'm only, <laughs> <laughs> only protecting animals. Okay. So a couple of the... So you, they don't find anything um, necessarily interesting uh, or valuable for you. Uh, but uh, a couple of the boggles that you had noticed sort of whispering behind your back at the talk of unionizing um, take the uh, the bonus offer very literally and uh, they get into some of the wine. Uh, can I just get you to roll me a d6? Okay. Five. Okay. Uh, they come out of the wine cellar um, having having split one of these bottles. Um, you can see the empty label says dog water tea on it. Um, or the label of the empty bottle, I should say. Um, and uh, they come out faintly smelling of salt. Um and talking about uh, how incredibly full they feel and how they just couldn't eat another bite. Warp uh, is very disappointed. Uh, pulls out a uh, the dreaded clipboard and just uh, scratches on it for, for a little bit while looking over it at the boggles uh for a second and then tucks it away without saying anything so does your clipboard just like come out and all of a sudden there's a hand holding it <laughs> <It's like> a... <laughs> yes yeah because uh, everything that lorp owns is stored inside of them you can just see it like floating around in the goo uh there's like a shield and it's a pickaxe and stuff like that and yeah uh one of them is a clipboard just okay. scratches on it and slurps it back in all right. Uh, anybody else want to do anything before we move on? Eat wine cellar, office, both are up for grabs. They're, again, they're like 15 feet away from each other. I want to snoop in the office, see if I can find any uh, any uh, writings or anything, letters that Wally might have had back in the day. Okay. Personal uh... correspondence. Yeah, hit me with a search, probably, is the right one for that. Yeah, search to find things that are hidden. Seems good. Okay. Uh, roll. Uh, four. Okay, uh, so same thing, a failure with a plus. Oh boy, let me look at. Let me just look at what's in this room. What's going on in here? Okay, uh, you. Uh, this seems fair. This would be sort of easy to find all right so you you sort of go through the desk um you don't find any papers you don't find the deed uh anything like that but you do uh stumble on sort of in the corner um there's a little section of the wall it almost looks like a cutout there's like a square there you sort of press on it uh and it depresses and opens up um and inside you find an incomplete uh, and very old um, set of uh, what looks like Wally's old plate armor. So it's essentially like the boots and the helmet and like one gauntlet are left. Hey y'all, I got some uh, I got some, some uh, Wally's armor here, some boots and helmet and a gauntlet or something. Anyone want those? Ooh, that's some good shit. You sure you don't want it? No, nah, I don't think it'll fit me. Well, Wally's a very small person. Uh, so, some of you might be able to use these things. Others, probably not. 
As part of Lorb's process, when uh, going through dungeons, anytime any loot is found, one of his boggles just runs up and puts like a uh, item sticker on it, just so we can keep track of how many like what's found. So okay, part of their inventory process. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. record everything that's out. Say two boots, one gauntlet, and a helmet. Marks everything uh, separately. Do we have a section for armor? Uh, you have. Da, 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 da. Let me pull it up. It's not called armor. Uh, some things that give you block. So where your defense is, there's a section for block. Mm-hmm. Another rule. Uh, let me pull this guy up in the book. Yeah, and then I'm like, from being the knight errant I have, where I chose a magnificent breastplate which rather than block just gives me a minus one to defense across the board right uh so the different kinds of uh armor essentially give you different things um there's light armor medium armor heavy armor there's shields and there's helmets um so essentially they whatever we sort of classify these under uh some of them give you block some of them give you like advantage on rolls um some of them add plus one to a check so it just depends on what you're uh what you're using which if this was a full set um would be a full set of heavy armor uh, but it's not so it'll be essentially what i would do is classify it as like either medium if you wore a couple of them or light if you just wore one of them because this game is silly and i think it would be fun if you guys just like wore a boot and it helped you a little bit I'm not a combat person, so if anybody wants these. I mean I'll take the I'll take the gauntlet if it fits me. I don't my only weapon is a is a walking stick, so maybe I can just punch people with metal cup. <laughs> It'll definitely fit you. Alright. I do kind of like the idea of having a very small helmet just like sitting on top of my head. It doesn't actually okay. fit on. But if someone else wants armor, because I already have some kind of armor. Uh, I have a shield, which doesn't do defense, but does uh, block dread. Um, so I'm, I'm okay. Plus, I, I don't do know like how I wear idea. it. Well, if we put Lorp in the boot and just like <laughs> that is, you just like move along. Just hop the in now. the boot. In a boot. I also, it hadn't been said yet this session, but I did need to reiterate Lorp can't talk, so anything that's being said by Lorp is being communicated separately by the Boggarts as they're like speaking for them telepathically. The Boggles. The Boggles, yes. So. I would just imagine you have like a designated speaker who yeah. is very good at getting your voice. That's fair. That's the reason for the Shatner, though. The delay is like the processing of the the translation. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Masterful, yeah. Uh, but I'll take the boot if nobody wants it. And I can figure out a stupid way to use it. Does Puck want any of the armor? Well, what what am I gonna do with armor? I'm gonna try not to get hit. That's what I'm gonna do. So I will say, um, for just I do have a great helm, <laughs> but try not we to should get t- we should talk about this is an excellent time to talk about armor uh, because not all of it contributes directly to your block or to your defense. Um, so some of them give you advantage on your role to defy death. Um, so if you're in danger and your uh, courage goes down to zero, you essentially roll to see whether or not you die. Um, they help with that. Light armor helps with that, which I'll say if you're wearing one of these pieces, I'm going to consider it light armor. So you have advantage to defy death. Um, medium armor, you get extra stuff. So if you're wearing two of these pieces, maybe three, um, you get advantage to roll to resist wounds and advantage to roll to defy death so you get better stuff if it was a full set then you start getting block and things like that um i'll say medium armor gives you disadvantage to sneak so sneaky people probably not 
Um, and then helmets specifically uh, add plus one to defy death and resist wounds. Um, and then this is your friendly reminder that all of your skill checks can only be at a maximum of plus three. Unless you're using quest points in which it can go over. Cool, thank you. So I'm being really silly with the armor. Um, you also can, uh, according to the book, because I'm making stuff up, um, but pieces of armor, you can essentially piecemeal them together until you have an entire set, and then they can give you all the benefits of a full set. But we're being silly. Since we're a little off topic right now, off track right now, uh, this is not a treasure hoard, is it? We're not? No. Okay. Just double checking, because I got something special for that, but. We're not off track. I just want to make sure that while you're dividing this stuff up, you actually know what it does. Yeah, I meant like, while we're not. Anyway. You're fine. <laughs> while you're not in character. Yeah, no, this is not a treasure hoard. So if we give each of us the plus one, or at least whoever gets the gauntlet and the boot, they basically have plus one to defy death, and that's only uh, if Advantage on. on the roll. Okay, advantage, and that's only if your courage is already at zero, or... Yes. So let me uh, let me pull up the. Well, and it's the second time in a session, right? Because the first time you hit zero, you're just like out of it. Second time is when dying happens. Yeah, if essentially. I'm correct. I think that's right. Um, I'm gonna pull it up and make sure. But I'm pretty sure David's right. Because you're defeated for like several rounds, and then. You get a wound, which you have to roll for, and then... Yeah, okay. Uh, so, if your courage is reduced to zero, you're defeated. So, the first time you're defeated, uh, you fall unconscious for 1d4 rounds. And then, you have to make a roll for... That's the resist wounds that's under some of the armor. You make that roll. If you roll less than a certain number, you get a wound, uh, which gives you stacking penalties to your rolls um if you are reduced to zero more than twice uh no twice or more in a session then you have to roll to find death um in which case you roll you either perform a last heroic action before you die uh live but suffer a lasting injury or just live and you're fine so that's where those come in For now, still, unless someone wants to take the gauntlet and the boot and the helmet to try and get something approaching the set, we should stick with splitting them up. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, and again, just for the stream's purposes, I'm playing fast and loose and being kind of silly with the armor rules because I think it's fun. Um, so uh, who has what? Oh, let me go back up to the inventory. Oh, okay. So we've got, what I say? Two boots, a gauntlet, and a helmet. I'm taking a gauntlet. Okay. That will be uh, a light armor and advantage to defy death. pair of boots or no they're probably too small for my big wug feet to fit in probably yeah did you want the helmet alex yeah i was thinking i was taking the helmet but i'm just now imagining lorp with two boots and just i can't remember what exactly it is but just like suddenly you develop these very shapely legs as you now have boots to put them into and <laughs> still just like goop on top i like that they still like slide across the ground but a boot will like pseudopod out and then get slurped back in and then like another one pseudopods out and slurped back in it's like doof doof uh but he'll just uh, they'll just take one boot and somebody else can take the other boot because i think that's funnier um I think if it's hilarious, and I'm going to do it this way forever. Yeah. If you're taking one boot, I'll take the other boot. Okay. okay. So it's the same thing. Perfect. Light armor. Advantage. 
on Defy Death. Because I would not, I, I don't want boot. to disappear. It'd be a disadvantage on stealthing or hiding yes. uh, with the, yeah, and I don't want yeah, that. The, I'm good the advantages go up, so you get you also get advantage to resist wounds, um, but yeah, somehow this boot's very helpful to you. I just think it's hysterical, so I'm going to keep doing it this way. I have a boot and a shield. Good job. All right, and then, so boot, boot, glove, and then lug has the helmet. Yep. Uh, so helmets are plus one to defy death and resist wounds. Now, do these have listed weights or such to go in the inventory? Uh, -na -na -na. It's based on whether they are light, medium, or heavy i'm gonna say for y'all since you took one a piece all of them are light so that's one inventory slot okay and now we know how that works <laughs> cool 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 um anything else you all want to do um the office has been pretty much stripped bare um there are some bottles of wine left in the cellar if you want to look at those but otherwise it's up to you Lego. i'm ready to move on okay okay uh then you move on so you're gonna take your uh your rat friends and head into the tunnel Right. Let's get to the tunnel. Okay, so you make your way um, in through this hole underneath this painting that has essentially been sort of gnawed into the wall. Um, at first glance, it's kind of all like splintered wood around where this office has essentially been built and the walls have been paneled. Um, there is loose earth and stones. Um, and then sort of behind it is a, a, a narrow sort of low tunnel that you can uh, make your way through. Um, uh, Puck and, uh, and Nam Foodle, the two of you can walk through. Uh, the rest of you are gonna, well, and Lorp, you can Lorp. Uh, but uh, Lug and Bo, um, you're going to have to duck, probably crawl through this tunnel. Ugh. Isn't this always the way? At least it's not lots of swamp water like back home. Yeah, but it did give me an extra coloring to my uh, lower extremities, and I think the ladies really like it. That was a joke. Because I can't have sex because I'm a skeleton. I'm no expert, but can't you just try harder? Why don't you go first, big guy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Lug it has no issue with... <laughs> In my Christian Minecraft server. Is this a tunnel on a decline or an incline? Uh, neither. Oops, me. Or both. Also, is, is, is Bo foldable? Like, can, can just kind of like collapse like a lawn chair or something like that? I don't I'm going to leave that up to you. I, mean... I do like the idea that Bo could just like fall apart like a <laughs> animated You can't. Okay, point. I'll say if you want to go that route. You can sort of detach and fold up, but you can't move on your own. Can I, like, take my top half off? Can I, like, detach sections? Sure, why not? Like, okay, detach your head fun. and, like, look up over something. That sounds like a lot of fun, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. Uh, so but what Bo's going to do is they're going to grab themselves at the uh, at the spine where, they're, where it attaches to their... Um, 
Or where the lumbar attached to this uh, serve this middle part. Uh, <laughs> you got half. I, I, I was so close. Uh, the cervical vertebrae. Uh, Which are the top on the ones. Neck, yeah. yeah. You talk about the thoracic. The middle vertebrae. ones. Whatever the middle ones are. Thoracic. And I just said it. Thoracic. <laughs> Anyways, Park. I detach. I detach at the the midsection, and uh, Bo then uses, uh, like kind of fits the uh, the the rib cage over the hips, and kind of like wiggles down so that they're kind of just like a half person, um, and starts to move like at the knees. Because they okay, can't move well, legs. that's exactly as horrifying as I thought it would be, and I love it. So yes, uh, Bo, you sort of cla- bones that are not supposed to be touching each other, sort of clacking together uh, in true Halloween fashion. Uh, you make your way through uh, lug. You're just gonna have to crawl. You might have to army crawl. <laughs> uh, so who goes first? Well, that was gonna be my. That was why I was asking that question about the incline. Yeah. Uh, from where you are, the tunnel goes straight. No, okay. That's it's not, not on an incline. Then. I can, I can go first. I can go first and do a little creepy sneak. Okay. You want to sneak? Yeah. Please roll to sneak. Okay. That's a thing. I think <laughs> it's probably a thing. What you got? I did, I did roll a one. Um, oh, no. But hold on, let me see. I have I have things. It looks like it's a you have a plus two, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it should so be three. But the three total uh nat like nat ones aren't aren't a thing here. Yeah, I could I could I could do I'll 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 keep it from being a complete total failure and uh so it is with a three it's a failure with a plus yeah so uh oh three oh yeah it's three to five that's right yeah it'll be three to five yep all right cool keep your point no it's a i want you to have it (laughs) it's It's well it said it doesn't do anything for me uh it's the thought that counts no it's a it is (laughs) keep your point uh no it is a it's a different uh scale than i think we're used to working with so yes that's a failure with a plus uh so uh, let's see i'll say please minimize uh that's cool the button's not working that's fine uh i will say Failure of the plus. Um, you make your way first through this tunnel, sort of scouting ahead. Um, it sort of goes forward for a little bit and then curves around. Um, you make it to the... Uh, I have no concept of distances. You go a little ways. You go around the curve. Go a kilo. Uh, you go... No, <laughs> probably not that far. But you go a little ways. Uh, A couple minutes down the tunnel, you take a turn and you're looking ahead and you, uh, do you fly? Yes. You're flying. Okay. Uh, you come to a part where the tunnel is just a little bit narrower on one side than you thought and your, uh, sort of imp wing kind of catches a few loose rocks and sends them flying forward, tumbling, and then all of a sudden you don't hear anything for a bit and then v- oh, a lot further away from you you hear them hit the ground uh, so you stop sort of look around and realize that while you may have been hurt if something else is in the room in front of you is like a 30 foot drop off uh, and that's like a lot of knees on the way down Ooh. Uh, Which yeah. you can fly, so it's not super dangerous. But yeah, it's spooky though. I'm so it's spooky. It's ground that I can't see the bottom of. It's not the lassophobia. It's whatever the version of that is for the earth. I guess that's just fear of heights. 
<laughs> Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so you, you scout down a little bit, essentially the tunnel curves, and then there is just kind of a dark drop off. Okay, I like the idea that I fly, but I'm afraid of heights. So I've just been flying just about an inch above the ground <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. It's like, oh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I whine a little bit as I kind of scurry back to uh, where the earth is. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not going to warn anybody. I, I'm assuming they'll bump into me <laughs> at some point. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the rest of you make your way along. Um, those of you that are out in front, probably the uh, the smaller bunch, the Slurpee bunch, um, you hear some whining, uh, and then you uh, bump into... <laughs> your impish friend uh, sort of starting a chain reaction. And Puck, you almost fall. You've got like toes hanging off the edge. No, I need those toes. I need them. What's the problem? What you doing? There's a hole. There's a hole? Yep. Is there there something bad in the hole or something, Puck? There's no way I'm knowing. It's a whole hole right there. That That is what that is. A whole hole. Are you going to go over it or? I don't know. I don't know if there is an over it. The... Look at all the air. You can fly, right? But I can fly, but I can fall too. Do you want me to throw you? No, I don't think I'd like that. No? Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, since you put it that way. No. No, <laughs> of course not. I don't want to be thrown. It's a hole. Right. Do you want me to like lay over it? How how long is this? Can we build a bone bridge? Uh well, it's uh it's less of a hole and more just a drop. Oh, there's no other side? No. Okay. Well, there is. Down. It's a wall. <laughs> All right. Well, no, anyone have some down. rope? Can we make yeah. a rope ladder out of your bones? <laughs> Look to to the rats. Uh, <laughs> you don't need... Just take your ribs and use it for a rope ladder? It goes like 30 feet down. Can I yeah, use... I have a rappelling harness. Can I use the dungeon point <laughs> well, to ask the boggle crew to uh, form a living bridge across the across the chasm? <laughs> no, ladder, still not ladder, a chasm. Ladder, ladder, hold or on. Ladder, hold ladder. Yeah, sorry, that's what ladder. he said. That's, that's what they said. That's what I meant. Everyone, time out. <laughs> the pit, the hole, point. whatever. Quest point. I'm so tired right now. You just have to bear with me. Well, I've had that's a why long I was day. timing out to ask you. <laughs> uh quest point quest to use thing. your you want to spend a quest point to use your ability to again to try yes, to tell use the my ability to again do. to to have the boggles form a ladder a ladder out of their just bodies just a vertical bridge um <laughs> okay uh yes you can spend a point uh and then you roll to what you can either inspire or intimidate mm mm-hmm. mhm uh, I'm just gonna roll to the worse than before, which is a uh, three. I think that is still a failure with a plus. That is still a failure with a plus. Oh, geez. <laughs> what is the silver lining of this one? Lorp. Um, okay, so maybe Lorp gives detailed instructions. Uh, we've went, gone over this in training. Um, this is part of their standard uh, training uh, for their crew. Um, maybe they fall. They cushion the impact for whoever's falling. But the boggles are out of commission. This but you're going to lose the boggles. Uh, the boggles. Okay. I like that. Uh, so the boggles... Speak. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe not all the boggles, but enough that they... Uh, okay. It is okay. a failure. <laughs> If they're out of commission. They're not dead. They all have injuries that keep them from going forward. They can still speak, though. Is this actually a thing, or are you just? I'm no. I'm just bullshitting. Uh, the it just says okay. that they. You can keep one. They're you can keep the speaker boggle, but the rest of them will go, and sure. will be out of commission until you can replace them. What if the speaker buckle changes every time in each session you have a different character voice to, <laughs> for the new Can speaker do that. Boggle? That is totally up to you. So did someone just maybe right now you have a promoted boggle because <laughs> the other one didn't make it? Yes, what new voice are you going to be doing tonight? <clears throat> no, uh, Lord Pasta, there's, there's actually a uh, psychic interviewing process and like there's a whole He's got a. There's a lot of red tape, so Lord's just not going to talk for the rest of this. And that way, I don't say stupid things again. Uh, I told you you could keep the one. I'll keep that one. That's your silver lining. Uh, the Boggles try to form a ladder, uh, very unsuccessfully, and sort of go toppling to the bottom. Uh, it's about thirty feet down. And they're not sounding so good, but Lorp encourages you to use them as a landing platform. And so you do. One by one, you jump down, it's a soft landing. And by the end, the boggles, except for the one who they always protect because he speaks in Lorp's voice are done for. Meaning that they have suffered injuries and will now all need to go back to the start of the dungeon to recuperate. Yes, they are they are infinite. They'll come back. But for right now they, they're gonna need some time. But again, they do this willingly and for a lot of pay. So no pay. It's a kink for them. They're just doing it. I'm not. No, we're not. This. We're not doing this. Okay, a lot of pain. We're not doing that. No. Okay, you all make it down. Jesus, <sighs> something horrifying always happens. Uh, okay, so you. Uh, you make it down uh, to the the bottom of this. Uh, it's about a thirty foot drop. Um, at the bottom, uh, you can see, uh, sort of in the darkness, a, a shape lying on the ground in front of you, um, unmoving, just laying there, and uh, a tunnel sort of extending forward. only eaten bigger at this point or am i still army crawling uh are you i think you should be good to stand in here ah, well you guys can you guys can stand in here this is a bigger uh, at least a much taller tunnel readjust my torso back to where it's supposed to be all right oh oh that actually felt good <laughs> all right now we have can you talk to the rats? Can you ask them if we're going in the right direction? We should have done that before we came down here. Ah, so stupid. Well, there was Point only is... one way to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, rats. Let's see. Uh, what, what can we expect? Any more drop-offs or anything? Uh, they start uh, sniffing around a a little bit, um, sort of leading and uh, pointing essentially down towards the right tunnel. Um, but one of them tells you, Namfoodle, um, you're, uh, you're you're probably going to start running into patrols at this point. How? I mean, so if you're there with us, you know, get a good word in. How's that going to do for us? Uh, I mean, I make no promises. 
the king, he really hates that Wally guy, so, uh, you know, kind of hate, hate everyone else. It's the whole kind of, like, my armies are gonna, gonna take over the world kind of thing. Now, that's, that's real interesting. Huh. All right, I'll everyone else. I don't know how well this is going to be a peaceful resolution here. It sounds like this king is hell bent on world domination. Ah, <laughs> that's not very nice. I mean, you know, he and his kin have been, you know, trapped down here and used as a food source. I, I feel like most peoples would want some kind of vengeance. I'm just fair, saying. That's very fair. All right, so what's the plan? I don't know, try and talk him out. If if not, I mean, I can't allow an army of rats to take over the world, so, mm -hmm, you know, we can mm -hmm. take out the king at that point, I think. Yeah. You think if we take out the king, it'll take out the rest of them? They'll be like, ah, I don't want to fight no more. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Rat oh, I'll talk to the rats. Rats, what's the uh, situation here? Is you guys more of a monarchy? You guys a you know, meritocracy? If, if we take out the king and, you know, combat... Y'all gotta listen to us, or what's what? Oh, man, I don't know. I mean, nobody's ever taken out the Rat King, but we only got one, so. Maybe. All right, it's, it's new to them, too. It's never happened before. It's kind of a new government, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. I don't think it's part of their constitution for nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, well, I mean, we won't know until we try it, so uh, who's sneaking ahead? Who's the sneakiest of us? Who's gonna look? Look at the sneaky snakes. Let me look at my sheet to see if I... I don't have that much sneak. I'm not very sneaky. I'm, I'm very neutral in my sneakiness. I, I, I'm alright. I can... I'm, I'm okay at sneaking. Well, I don't wanna... I don't wanna put you in danger if I don't have to. I'm not too worried about it. It's just a bunch of rats. Did you did you see the pelts on these things? Some of them are fucking huge. I mean, can't be more deadly than a witch, right? So. All right, fair. Maybe we should just stick together from now, and you know, try and be sneaky and quiet. But if if they're alerted and they get hostile, I you know can take on the. the Brunt of the assault. You're the best. You're the best in the business. All right. Let's all move forward cautiously. Then Poodle in the front. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nam Poodle in the front. Uh, you want the rats up there with you? Yes. Okay. Uh, the rest of you following behind. Uh, would you like to try to stealth or just going to kind of move through? We're stealthing, yeah? Yeah, I guess everyone's stealth. I was gonna okay. say, what do we have to lose from trying, but if we all oh, like ones. They actually have a thing on this in the book. Whoever has the lowest stealth is the only one who rolls. I remember reading that. Because you're only as sneaky as your ah, least sneaky person. You right. Zero. Also a zero. And as far as I know, my special Breastplate doesn't uh, incur any penalty on stealth. Uh, I have uh, one. Do you hold on? Uh, sorry. One thing at a time. Uh, breastplate. So it's the special thing from the Knight Errant. So I don't know if it follows normal breastplate rules per se. Uh... I don't remember it saying like, "Oh, you have disadvantage on stealth with this." Does it have a like a light, medium, heavy tag? Nope. It's just sturdy, cannot be broken. Okay, uh, then I'll say no for now, and I'll look at it later. It's not the most important thing to me right now, so. Yep. Okay. Sorry, uh, sorry, Val. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh. I was just saying I have one and advantage. Um. Plus, I'm not the least sneaky. Oh, okay. So yeah, one of our so... zeros. Yeah, so yeah. group checks, uh, whoever has the lowest gets the roll. Um, you can, it doesn't 
but you can Rochambeau for it. It, it doesn't matter. Yet? <laughs> I <laughs> haven't. We haven't I'm rolled a lot. Um, which <clears throat> welcome to playing games uh, with me. So, <laughs> all right. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's saying buff, but that's not okay. I rolled a nine. Okay, that is a success. Oh, well done. Uh, so, uh, Namfudo and the rats at the front. Um, Bo making uh, extra careful to uh, keep your bones from clattering and sort of pointing out uh, the bumps in the road. I don't know. You kind of, kind of from the middle, kind of lead everybody, making sure that they're staying on track. Uh, you all head very quietly uh, down this tunnel um you come across very quickly the uh the sort of still figure you saw in the darkness that's not the page i wanted um you find us sort of laying there uh, pretty close to where you first came down uh a body um it is the body of a dead killer rat um with a knife lodged in its belly. Uh, it's fairly fresh. Probably happened in the last couple of days. Um, and then nearby, uh, laying in the dirt, um, I'll say, I won't make you roll for this because you all were sort of moving slowly and quietly enough to probably pick this up. Uh, there is lying next to uh, some... Uh, humanoid looking tracks in the dirt uh, probably close to like Namfoodle kind of like your size uh, lying next to those there is a stick of dynamite uh, that has like a bloody handprint on it uh, Bo turns around and uh, grabs Namfoodle and like body shields them I just says, get down. I mean, it's it's not lit, is it? Oh, I guess that is important. Sorry, I just saw it and I just fr I, 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 I got scared for your life. I, I appreciate it so much, Bo. I really do. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You know, the logistics of it concern me, but you know. Right, right. I, don't well, worry about yeah. yourself. I, th I think my backpack is, would probably take most of it. I don't know. That's true. That's, we're getting I did take my backpack. pants off, so there's less uh, less coverage there. <laughs> I forgot you ain't wearing no pants. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, knee height. I don't know. Yeah, I forgot that. You know, it's dark down here. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. Plus, you were walking ahead. It's fine. Mm hmm. Thanks for not seeing, not seeing me being naked. That's weird. Sure. Yeah. All right. So this dynamite. What are we doing anything with it? We want to take it with us. Uh, yeah, we can take it with us. Uh, I don't really know how to use it. You just light it and throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Seems simple enough. What if it's I a mean, trap? how long? Look at the fuse on it. Just <laughs> see how long it is. Uh, it appears unused. Sure, I mean, I don't know how good an idea it is, but I'd rather have a stick of dynamite than not have a stick of dynamite. I mean, that's a, fa that's a fair point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could use it as an intimidation tactic if it comes to it. True. Yeah. I can probably just light the sucker too. I can heat stuff up with, with you know, with my hands. Well, not so. right now. No, no, no. We don't want to do that yet. True. True enough. But I mean, right. I'll just, you know, tuck it in my pocket. Right. All right. I'll so, uh... Shove the dynamite in my belt. <laughs> okay. Does, you have kind of a, in your like, pants or you happy like to see me? sticking out kind of halfway is like the end of a stick of dynamite and a fuse okay 
I'm sorry. What else is here? There was a body, or uh, there was the a uh, a dead uh, Kila rat mm. um, with a uh, a knife sort of stuck in its oh, right. stomach. Uh, it is fairly fresh. Probably mm. happened in the last couple of days. Can I uh, take the knife out? Sure. Is it like a dagger or like a? How big is it for me? Uh, for you, it's like dagger sized. Mmm. I'm gonna keep this. Anybody want it? Go ahead. Is there any like initials or anything? Any identifying characteristics? I look at it with my non eyeballs. Yeah. Nah, it's just a knife. Hey, man. All right. In the bag. They said, brandishing it at their friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, knife in the bag. Uh, you continue on uh, Namfudo at the front, the rats sort of sniffing ahead, uh, trying to take you on the shortest route to uh, where you are trying to get to. Uh, since you are in the front, uh, Mr. Timbers, uh, I'm going to have you flip me a D2. One. Okay. Uh, 50 50 shot. So, uh, as you all uh, make your way sort of through what is essentially like a maze of tunnels that have been dug out out here um, or down here by the by the rats, um, you make your way through, and the rats uh, that are sniffing sort of make their way a little bit ahead, and then they both stop very quickly uh, and uh, one of them turns around and looks at you and says uh, uh, hey man we gonna have trouble up ahead alright are we talking like guards or are we talking rat king trouble oh definitely guards man a few of them alright so we got some we got a patrol up ahead Gonna be trouble. That's what the rats is thinking. You want me to go shank them? I mean, I'd prefer to try and, you know, resolve it peacefully. Right, right. Sorry. Sorry. Sometimes I get a little intense. Uh, the other rat walks up to you at the yelling uh, damn poodle and says, Hey, uh, hey, uh, so when he says head, he means like, he means like right there. Like right around the corner. Okay. All right, so they they's right here, everyone. <laughs> well, should we backtrack or? I think we're gonna come across guards. This is the fastest way. Why don't you try to talk to him? All right, I'll just kind of hey, give me one of them pieces of cheese. Hands it over. <laughs> okay. All right. You have three pieces just, of cheese left. Just gonna walk around with the piece of cheese in my hand. Okay. Uh, you uh, walk around sort of this corner and very close to you, uh, sort of skittering this direction is uh, a uh, another Keelorat, um, a little bigger than the other two that are with you that looks to be sort of patrolling this hallway. Um, you step out and it kind of like stops uh very briefly in which hey you there. have a chance to parlay hey there friend i got this here cheese for you we was hoping to you know mate with your king and maybe discuss some logistics of some possibly a move as there's about to be a whole bunch of people down in here tearing this place up okay uh i'm gonna have you roll uh for which you have advantage, I believe, to uh, wrangle some critters. Let's see. Uh, what did we do? Inspire? Last time? Uh, make people believe your sincere words and actions. Unless you want to angle for something else. I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, with advantage, roll to inspire. All right. 
So do I just mark? Oops. Let's to start your roll. Huh. You know what? We'll just roll. What I get? Did it do anything? Uh, nope. I'm not seeing it. Try, uh, go ahead and close out the dice roller and reopen it. Okay, there we go. And then uh, every time you click it, it'll just add another dice. So you should be able to just click it twice and then hit roll. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, and then it should, it'll give you a total, but it'll give you the dice individually too. Okay, so it'll be a nine. Okay, uh, which I believe is a success. Boy, having somebody who can uh, talk to animals is really helpful in this particular adventure, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a success. Um, so you say this and the, uh, the killer rat sort of watches you intently, kind of listening, um, makes its way forward a little bit, still a little bit wary, doesn't know you, um, but kind of, kind of brow raised, like, okay. About the cheese form. What's the whole offer? Like for you? You get this piece oh. of cheese. No, for yeah. my mother. Oh, for, wait, is the Rat King? Rat King's a lady? No, right. I, do you understand sarcasm? You know, it's not really my main form of communication. I'm a pretty straightforward fella, especially with animals. What do you want from me? I just want you to, you know, kind of let us on through here and let us talk to, uh, you know, the Rat King. For that piece of cheese? Yeah. Hey, you got the deal. Hand it over. All right. We done. Hey, Marty, I'm going on break. Just kind of skitters off. All right, everyone. Guards taken care of. We're going to go see the king. I mean, there may be more guards. I don't know. All right. You're the best. You done it. So proud of you. No, it's giving that guard going to turn the giving that guard the cheese going to turn them into another rat king. I'm Ooh, suspecting I'm suspecting you gotta eat a lot of the cheese, right? Mm. This cheese is mm. enough of a thing. There's gotta be rats that eat it on a semi regular basis in the world overall, you know? So I'll give you guys this. Um Wally did say he ate a whole wheel of the cheese. Okay. If you wanna I don't know how that breaks down, but it's a lot. Oh. We give you can assume it's a lot. The four different rats. They can form Voltron to make one rat king. Oh yes, the legendary Ratron. Okay. Uh once again, successfully uh convincing the rats to do what you want. Uh Namfoodle and uh your friend rats who I didn't give names to. Quick, let's name them. Frank and Humorous. Jesse. Frank and Jesse is literally perfect. Frank and Jesse, friend rats. All right. Uh, Frank and Jesse at your side. Uh, you continue on uh, them sort of sniffing out the tunnels, uh, moving you through. Um, you don't encounter any more guards. Uh, you kind of go kind of winding through this maze um, pretty quickly. Uh, they lead you to uh, a T-junction um, where you can turn either left or right. Do we want to keep going left? We're talking about going left. Rats, you got any opinion on this? Uh, well... Jesse says from the back, uh, you know, they both have their merits, um, but uh, the, the right one's a little sticky. So I don't prefer it. 
Frank? You agree? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. The right one's pretty sticky. Like, are we talking literally sticky or figuratively? Oh, no, literally sticky. There's a spider that lives there. Wow. Ah, clever. All right. Well, then what's... Why not immediately go left? What's... What's happening with that path? Ah, uh, that's where the mushrooms are. What kind of mushrooms are you talking about here? I mean, I don't know. I don't eat them. So, hmm. just mushrooms. Okay, so as long as we don't eat them, we'll be fine? You walk by Probably. Good... I mean, Jesse doesn't like the way they smell, so sometimes he contemplates going to hang out with the spider. Mm. She's mm. got a lot of cool stuff down there, but mm. I don't mess with it. Right, yeah, uh, left I'll follow it is. mushrooms. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sometimes they're good for stew, people tell me. Mm. Uh, stew. This can be how you source your uh, replacement protein <laughs> for, uh, for <laughs> Wally. <laughs> Just make some out of the mushrooms down here. Yeah. There we go. Might have to get him a ladder or something for that drop off. I don't. I don't think Lorp's uh, friends are gonna be such a willing trampoline for much longer. Uh, yeah. Look, do you remember Stu from college, from high school? Are Are you asking this of Lorp, or are you? Because you said college yes. and high school. Okay. I meant high school. Okay. Yes. They were like a best friend. They were my best friend. It was great. Uh, no, he was my best friend. No, you confused again. I know it was a long time ago. I got a memory like a trap box. Uh, I, I can see the inside of your head right now. I know that that's not the case. Stu Seems was like my best friend. Too. Fair. Would one one of y'all like to tell us why stew's relevant in this particular no, mushrooms. mushrooms go well with stew. I miss stew. Oh, <laughs> all right. Thought maybe stew was some kind of mushroom expert. Oh no, 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 no. Stew is uh, kind of a knucklehead. Anyway, going left. All right, uh, so with everyone else in tow, the doorbell rings, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you make your way, turning left, uh, same general marching order. All I really need to know is who's in front. So, all right, Namfoodle and the rats, unless somebody else wants to go. Okay, uh, so W Namfoodle Timbers and the rats, uh, you head left um the cavern pretty quickly opens up into a uh, or the tunnel opens up into a large cavern uh the bed of which is essentially all fungi um it's covered it's this huge sort of cavern covered in mushrooms uh and as you look out over it rat friends in tow and uh, contemplate your next move. We are almost out of time. Uh, so we're gonna have to go ahead and end there for today. Uh, uh, thank you. Put the fun music back on. Uh, everybody for hanging out with us today as we uh, run through a new adventure in a new system with new characters. Uh, for uh, hanging out with us while we try out Land of Eam. Uh, so this time, uh, I'm going to, at the end of the session, uh, ask you all about XP things as soon as I can get the chart up. Uh, so there's several different ways um, that you all can earn XP. Um, a couple of them are individual. Most of them are group XP. Um, we're trying it out this time, doing it at the end of the session. Uh, if that doesn't work out, we'll do them as we go during the session. I'm flexible. Um, so 
I'm just going to run down the list very quickly. Y'all give me a yes or no if any of you think you did this thing. How about that? Uh, so this is your questing XP. Uh, and some of these are going to be on my part too. Um, so did you complete a quest or objective? No. Not yet. You did not. Um, did you solve a problem in a particularly creative way? Yes. <laughs> Lorf definitely did. You have to tell I'm I'm not going to tell you what you did. So, you tell me. Do you want us to explain or just yes? No, I want you to explain because if oh. you give a bad explanation, I'm going to say no. Oh, okay. I I detached my upper half and just attached it to my lower half in a different way. To be shorter. I do like that. Yeah, I'm going to keep count. Anybody else? Uh Human crash pad. Well, human crash human. pad. Very creative. Not what I expected. Okay. I think the mustard. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. actually solved anything, but I thought that was creative. Yeah. I'll say, well, I'll say the mustard is the reason that... Uh, it may have made those initial two rats a little more pliable <laughs> uh, to your solution to that, which I thought was particularly creative, which was requisitioning their cheese <laughs> and then hiring them for a work study. Uh, that's like four. Love it. Um, explores a new location or point of interest. He, I'll call the basement that for sure. Um, encounters a new creature. Hello, rats. You've never seen them before. Um, has a significant encounter with an NPC. I would consider developing what your relationships actually are with uh, Wally to be significant because he's in all of the adventures that are in this book. So, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, he they all they all sort of start in the same spot uh so uh finding a relic you didn't find a relic um da, 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 da. seven seven xp congratulations uh so role-playing xp uh when either a, a pc builds on a relationship or pursues their personal quest um so these are specific to the things that y'all have on your sheet um you all have relationships with the other characters and you all have a personal quest um, but any time any of you pursue those things and feel like you've accomplished them, the whole party gets XP. So if anybody feels like they've uh, accomplished either of those, please let me know. And that's okay if not. And, I, and I'll, I'll say like mechanically, uh, building on a relationship I don't think will have happened this session because we talked about this in session zero. Now it's been like a month. Uh, building on a relationship would essentially mean like the relationship has changed enough for you to want to like add another sentence to the relationship you already have. Um, which may have happened because this is the first time we played these characters. So it's possible. Probably not, but. No. Not yet. Perfectly reasonable. Um, personal quest. I I don't think we got... I don't think we're going to get to any of those. <laughs> this particular adventure. Um, okay, and then individual XP. Um, anybody demonstrate their ideal or their flaw? Uh, which is... That's what prompted the explanation earlier for... Okay, for, uh, for Alex and David, for sure. I would say each every PC contributor gets the following criteria once in a session. So even though I've made use of my flaw multiple times, I only get credit once. Yeah, you get the one XP. Okay. This one for you, uh, Nanfoodle. Um, I would say just in general, going on the quest and trying to make sure we save all the rats. For my ideal is risk my life to preserve nature or save an animal. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, finish the quest I'll fulfill my ideal because I've made a promise to Wally we'd get the deed back 
but I have not yet been able to honor my word on that. That's fair. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Um, uh, Valerie raised your hand. Uh, yeah, my ideal is to explore a dungeon completely, so did make progress towards that. Yeah. Makes sense. You're exploring a dungeon. I did. Wally did say it's more like a dungeon. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I'll call that. All right. Uh, so that's how it is sort of doing XP at the... Can you stop for like a... Can you guys hear this? Mm -hmm. I have a desperate cat in here. You wanted to come in here. I'm out. Like, I'm out. I'll let you out in a minute. You're fine. He's not going to die. Those doors He's... are a travesty. Well, so are other people's voices coming through your microphone. Sorry, Taco. For the stream, you're going to have to wait. Uh, so that's what it's like doing XP at the end of the session. Uh, we'll talk about it. If we like doing it that way, we'll keep doing it that way. If we want to do it throughout the session, we can do it throughout the session. I don't have a preference. Uh, so we will discuss. Um, but thanks, everybody, for uh, for hanging out with us during this uh, our first trial run of playing the actual game. I hope you all had fun. Um, and I hope everybody at home had fun watching. Um, I had a lot of fun running this because, obviously, this is a great group to run this sort of game for because it's very fun and y'all are very creative and and funny um and i thought it was great so we'll continue to talk about it and uh we will be back in two weeks uh for this particular game um on february 23rd uh however Tabletop Tuesdays happens every week at 7 p.m. Uh, so next week, come join us. Um, Alex will be in the GM seat again. We'll be back with the Squire Squad playing more Masks, uh, which is our super like our teen superhero game. Uh, so join us for that. In the meantime, uh, our schedule is below our faces on Twitch. Our next live stream after this will be on Thursday, uh, the 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. That is a new episode of Elegant Magics, uh, our, the second season of our Good Society game. Uh, so it is a Regency era romance, but this time we can do magic which is very cool uh in the meantime i will plug a couple of things that are not happening on this channel uh tomorrow you can join myself and val and lb hack em up on twitch.tv slash lb hack em up uh at 8 30 p.m eastern time for the well that's the wrong command because i've been in a roleplay server for too oh long gosh. sorry chat uh, you can join us at twitch.tv slash uh for the third episode of 4x4, the Monster of the Week game that LB is very generously running for myself and Val, as well as Sir Lucian and Jordan of the PH. Uh, it's been very fun so far. People are coming out with us then. Um, on Mondays, I'm also on twitch.tv slash colonomicon playing A State. That's at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, when this channel is dark. Uh, anybody else have anything they want to plug? What's going on with you guys this week? No? All right. Uh, well, then we will leave you for now. Uh, GGK will see you on Thursday. This particular group will see you next Tuesday for masks. Uh, but until then, good game and good night, internet. Thank you.